Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Monster High Caddy Noir doll. I got this doll from Walmart and she is slowly coming in and out of stock. Um, I expect a wide release within the next two weeks on Walmart. Um, can't really say anything for Amazon yet. Um, she still is, says out of stock but you can still purchase her and she'll ship out whenever they stock it but nothing from target and slow release from walmart so she is part of the new wave of students spectra venus and caddy are part of this new wave along with the core refresh dolls and caddy comes with the pet a notebook a phone a water bottle some a mirror a microphone and some glasses Caddy Noir was a character in G1 and has been redesigned for G3. Um, here are, on the side of the box, we can see some decals that just show off her personality and some of the items that she comes with. On the back of the box, we have her full Darko art, uh, as well as the other Monster High students in the back that got core refreshes. And then here it says Caddy Noir. Monster type, pop star, performer, wear cat, monster must haves, sheep, muse, ick, plus lucky mirror, and monster pet is amulet. And then it says it again in a couple different languages. And mine was made in Indonesia, which is interesting because the first wave was mainly China. And here is her barcode on the bottom in case you want to go to Walmart and scan for her. She may or may not be in your local area. So I'm gonna open her up now. Here she is out of the box and she looks absolutely amazing. I had a little bit of trouble trying to get her to stay on the stand. Um, she is bigger than Abby. Um, and the clip is a little too small for her waist. So I had to pull it up a little bit higher and it seems to be able to work um, just a bit higher. She comes with her backpack, which is a heart shaped bag with a lightning bolt and the number 13 on it and a couple zippers. The heart also has like, little cat ears. It also opens up, which is the first of like this function where it's like a clip release pop pop up backpack the rest are like kind of like rubbery where you just squeeze it and then it opens up but that's interesting and you can see the pegs from the chain straps they go inside the backpack as well um our next accessory is a water bottle that can the lid can be removed it just says 13 on it there's a lot of 13 on this doll and it's the same like mold for the 13 so just a heads up um she has a mirror a broken mirror with cat ears on it and the same number 13 on it 13 being the unlucky number like friday the 13th um she has a microphone with the word with the name caddy on it and some glasses with broken glass um the sides of the glasses go in two different directions. I'm not sure if that's intentional or if mine are just defective. I'm trying to put mine in, but they fell out. So I'll do it at the end when I reveal the final look. She also comes with the phone with the number 13 on it. And this one is silver. She also has a cracked screen, which is really funny. And then a music note, music notes with songs from the G1 movie, Boo York, uh, Shooting Stars, Search Inside, and Steal the Show. And again, the number 13 on the cover. It's almost as bad as Claudine and the number of moons on her outfits and her dolls is a lot, a lot, a lot of 13s. This is her pet, Amulet. Amulet is a Sphinx cat and her head slightly turns if you try to move it but not that well she's actually really small i'm pretty sure she's smaller than most g3 pets which is interesting 
Um, she also has a star on her face. Here is Caddy without her outfit and with her hair down. And it looks like a big mane, which looks really cool. Kind of like she's a lion. I don't know what texture her hair is, but she has little yarn micro braids in it. It could be Saran, but it also could be Polly. It's greasy like Saran, but it's also not like coarse like Polly. So I don't know. It could be either or. I don't mind either because her hair is straight. So I don't really have a problem with it being Polly. But if it was curled, it would be a huge problem if it was Polly. As we zoom into her face... Um, her head is really grainy. I don't know if that's, like, intentional, but her lips are also really smudged. I don't- I really don't know if that's intentional or not. I'm gonna check. I just checked her stock photos, and it is not intentional. This is extremely pixelated, I guess, on her lips. This doll was gifted to me by one of my mutuals on Twitter, and I, she was ordered from Walmart, so I didn't get to like actually look at her in person, but I don't really care. Here is her belt with the number 13 on it again and a broken heart. Here is her top. It's very similar to the one Cleo has with Skultimate Secrets Wave 1, except pink and a little bit bigger. I don't know if the texture is the same. This one feels like a candy wrapper, and it's kind of gross feeling. But the dress itself is actually a fine material. It's not papery. It feels like an actual piece of clothing, which I really appreciate. And it's being held up by two clear straps that should be covered once you put the, the top on it. And here are her shoes, continuing the shattered mirror motif. Uh, her shoes are also super cracked. Um, she's got a lot of buckles on it, as well as the number 13 and a zipper. Um, more hearts. Yeah, that's all I can really say about her shoes. They look really cool, but I would want to... I'm I might paint some details on it in silver just to make it like pop out a bit. I've seen a couple people on Twitter do that, and it looks really good. So she also has an earring that's a heart with some like spikes on it and then a number 13 necklace with a heart and some like jewels around the neck. Here she is in her final look and I've managed to get her glasses on and they look pretty good. I don't understand why they're blue though. They should be pink or white to go with the rest of the outfit, but it's fine, I guess. I also figured out that you have to clip her right under her uh, chest articulation as the space is thinner there and it does actually clip on. But overall, I really love this doll. Definitely like an 8 out of 10 on the style. Um, I definitely like her a lot more than her G1 doll. I so I 3D printed this stand. I guess, or display piece for my Monster Fest dolls. And I intended on putting Caddy in it, but I don't know if she will fit in the clamps that I 3D printed, um, but she might be able to fit in between those two in the middle. They were meant for Cleo and Laguna, but um, I don't know if or when I will get them as they aren't like my priority, but here is Caddy in between the two clamps, and you can't even see the two clamps there. So I think this looks good. This looks really great um, as a display piece. They're all on stage. Um, Caddy looks like she's about to sing, and Claudine and Frankie are by her side. And that's all for the video. I have a Discord link in the description where I have all of the links for upcoming Monster High releases, G1 and G3. So if you want to come talk about Monster High or if you want all of your links in one compiled place, I have Amazon, Walmart uh, links to things. 
Um, so yeah, just join.